the ocean floor. It's great to be a jelly as you drift along on the waves. Enjoy the warm sun and gathering food with my long tentacles. Ah, just drifting along. Hi there, jelly. Oh, I see horse. Are you enjoying the currents this morning? They're quite lovely. Yes, they're moving me right along. That's good, but you need to watch out because I think a storm's coming. I'm moving my dorsal fin as fast as I can. I need to find a nice slip to wrap my tail around. I don't want to get tossed when the big waves come. Thanks for the warning. See you later. Good luck. Wait a minute. The sky's getting darker and the wind's getting wilder. Oh, no. He built a huge wave. <laughs> Scene two, the ocean floor. Wow, that was rough. I can't even tell if my tentacles are up or down. There's so much water on top of me that it hurts. And it's so cold, I can't see the sun. I must be far away from home. I'll ask that funny-looking animal where I am. Hey, animal. Hey, for horses, dude. I'm not a horse. Well then, what are you and where am I? I'm a spiny lobster. Check out my spine. I live here on the ocean floor. I wander around down here looking for food. Now what in the ocean are you? Don't you know? I'm a jelly. Like peanut butter and jelly? There's no peanut butter down here, you know. Want to eat a shrimp? They're mighty tasty. <laughs> hey, thanks. I can't eat shrimp. I use these to collect plankton near the surface of the ocean. I don't belong down here. The water's pushing me down and it hurts. Yeah, you look totally squished, dude. I guess the water pressure is too much for you. You need to head up toward the surface or grow yourself a crusty coat like I have. I don't know how to do that. Too bad. Come for real handy for protection. <laughs> Unless, oh no, it's a fisherman shark. Quick, you need to get ahead of here fast. The fisherman shark is on. not all you have to worry about. I'm a stingray and I can be dangerous too. Uh-oh. Well, how would you feel if someone stepped on you? Not too good, I guess. Exactly. Let me explain what I'm talking about. My favorite spot in the whole ocean is the soft, mushy sand bottom. Ah, it's the best because I'm so flat I can slide through the mud and relax until someone comes along and walks over me like that is. I see your point. Good, but luckily for you, you haven't really seen the point of my sharp whip-like tail. What do you mean? Well, that's the part I use to sting any intruders. I see. Well, I definitely don't want to bother you. I think I'll be on my way now. Okay, I'm going to send them for a little rest. See you later. Scene three, the abyss. Yikes, where did he go? Uh-oh, it's getting darker and darker right here and colder and colder. Okay, that's strange. I feel something quite warm. Maybe I'm heading back toward the surface. Who goes there? It's me, I'm a jellyfish. But who are you? And even more important, where am I? I'm a tube worm and you're down the deep abyss. In fact, you're over in a mile and a half from the surface. Oh no, I really went the wrong way. When I felt the heat, I thought I was headed home. Well, you certainly took a wrong turn. This is just about as deep as it gets. The heat isn't from the sun, it's from the hydrothermal vents. What? I've never heard of those. Well, don't feel bad. Scientists have just discovered them about 30 years ago. Are you all alone down here? Actually, no. I have more company than you might expect. There are dry clams, spider crabs, spaghetti worms, and many other cool, or should I say, warm friends. Well, that's great. I hope you're all very happy together. But this is definitely not the place for me. Scene four, back at the ocean floor. Oh, good. Things are really looking up. I'm heading in the right direction. Maybe I can get some help from this elegant creature. Hi there. You can address me as your royal highness. I'm a King Kong. I can see why you're a king. Your big fancy shells is impressive as a castle. Yes, well, thank you. I started out with a tiny shell. You can see it, my chest. But then I worked a long time growing this huge masterpiece. Do you see the point now? Yes, yes, it's splendid. <laughs> Maybe you can help me. I'm trying to find my way back to the surface. Sorry, I can't help. I really wouldn't know. I crawl on the ocean floor using my stomach blocks as I go. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. It works for me. And if you're impressed with that, let me tell you what else you can do. When I want to hide inside my shell, I simply 
completely. I'm, I'm trying my best to find my way home. Well, I do have the most highly developed brain of all the invertebrates. The what? Invertebrates. It means animals without a backbone. But don't worry, as I was saying, I can use my well developed brain to help solve my well developed brain to help solve your problem. I think your best bet is to head up to the surface. Okay, it's worth a try. I appreciate your help. Goodbye. Goodbye from me and all my arms. <laughs> Being <laughs> by the open sea. I'm feeling a little better up here, even though it's still chilly. But what's that scary looking animal coming towards me?
Yes, now that I look closer, I can see that. I can feel that, too. You seem quite different than the other creatures I've seen. Thanks. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm quite proud of my thick fur. It keeps me nice and warm. Yikes! What are you doing? I'm picking up the spiny and the beanie for paws to get a closer look. I can see that all the they're out to the perfect spot for me. They're not right for you. No offense, but you're just too big for me. I would be happy to introduce you to your friend of mine who is more your size. Are you talking a little more to me? Why, yes, we are. Well then, hello to you. I am a smart club, and I'm having a delightful day as I walk, as I crawl along the sunny seashore. Are you aware of the fact that you're moving sideways? Why, well, yes, I am. But it doesn't smell me down at all. In fact, I can even move them like this. Do you want to say? No thanks, I trust you. I guess all those jointed legs help you move pretty fast, huh? Yes, they really do. And they're also helpful whenever I need to quickly hide myself down in the sun. It's so convenient. I just love to live in here. What about you? Where do you live? Well, you see, that's my problem. I'm not quite sure. You must try and think real hard. What was it like? Let me think. It was warm and I could feel the sun, but there were no rocks or sand and hardly any coral or seaweed. I never got my tentacle stuck anywhere and there was plenty of plankton to eat. It was wonderful, but I can't find it. I don't believe that there's such a place. Oh, yes, there is, yes, there is, yes, there is. And you really, 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 really love it. There <laughs> is where? Push the shark, the crab, and the squirrel. 